so, uh, what now? Now we should tell scary stories. Oh. I have a friend who tells the scariest stories. You invited a friend over? N no, not yet. I'll call him now. Eye of Newt, corn of candy, find this man wherever he can be. In the air, across the sea, bring him to me, my good friend, Randy. Hey, Randy, can you tell us a story? Of course. As you know, I've written a whole book of them. Presenting my masterpiece. Moderately scary stories to tell in either the dark or the light. You can have this copy for free. This is just a piece of paper. Where are all the stories? I will start with my favorite story. The Night of the Living Werewolf Who Lived in the Living Werewolf Woods. Part 1. Once upon a time in the living werewolf woods, there lived a werewolf. He was ten feet tall with razor sharp claws. Some say he could smell fear a mile away. Others say that his howl can shatter the strongest of eardrums. Any trespasser foolish enough to enter the living werewolf woods is hunted down by the werewolf. And then he shoots them. He what? He shoots them. He shoots them? Like with a gun. Yeah, I got that part. Why would a ten foot tall werewolf with claws use a gun? It doesn't make sense. Well, it's because... Well, you don't think gun violence is scary? That's not what I'm saying. Fine. Clearly you have a high scare tolerance. So why don't I tell you the scariest story I know? The tale of the clock tower ghoul and the disappearance of multiple people who lived in a nearby town. The clock tower ghoul lives. Is, is this still the title or is this actually the story? Shh. <clears throat> the clock tower ghoul lived in Ghoulsville. The ghoul lived in tense harmony with the citizens of Ghoulsville until a string of disappearances led to suspicion from the citizens of the town. One day, the people of Ghoulsville banded together and charged the clock tower and arrested the ghoul. They arrested the ghoul. And it didn't fight back? Correct. Because resisting arrest is against the law. Anyways, they arrested the ghoul. And then the next day, he was sentenced to death without trial. <gasps> Seriously? That's not scary. Randy, they didn't mean that. It's... <laughs> Eye of Newt, former President Obama, send this sad, sad boy, boy back to his, his mama. mama. You know, I think we should just watch a movie. And that is my spookiest story of all. The shockingly true tale of the two friends who were hunted down after they disrespected me, legendary author Randall James Taylor McCaffrey Jr. the third.